Thank you to Cricket for sponsoring today's video. Red eyes, strobe lights moving across the walls. You're looking like a movie star. Hey guys, well, welcome back to my channel. For today, we are going to be having part two of my whole closet major transformation organization you guys saw the whole decluttering process and starting to build the ikea pax closet we finally have completed the majority of you know putting it all up now it's time for the fun part which is organizing and then once i'm totally done organizing mike is going to come on in tonight install all the hardware on the drawers that i have and finally i can share the big reveal so organizing finishing up creating the closet and transformation all in one video i hope you guys will enjoy give it a big thumbs up if you do definitely consider hitting that subscribe button if you are new here for more home cleaning and organization and let's go ahead and get right into this one so finishing off where we left off on part two of this whole closet transformation i'm just cleaning off all of the debris because mike did add in some shelving and things like that and as you can see drawers also got put in before you didn't see that in the last part that we left off we kind of started building and placing the larger pieces of the ikea pack system so we wanted to go ahead clean it all out and then i am bringing it back to the hole before if this is indeed the first video and you didn't get a chance to check out part one i will We'll pop it up here on the screen so you guys can watch that as well but this is what we started out with and then now we are coming down to the finish which is this is what it looks like totally completed we just had to add hardware at this point and then of course organize everything which is what you'll be seeing in today's video but i know just what you are seems like you're top to be on the floor you're looking for a kind of queen the baddest one you've ever seen you're shining bright as crystal moving like a twister and this is a major life-saving hack. Actually, if you guys have the IKEA packs, I'm sure you're not gonna put 500 shelves and things like that inside to customize yours. So chances are you're going to have a lot of these holes left over, which don't look the most aesthetic. So you wanna go ahead, pop these in. These come out to $2.99 per pack. I wish I would have bought more, I didn't realize. So I'm actually doing an order pickup later today because I need to fill in a lot of the other holes. But for now, this'll do. Now I have a lot of different organizations organization items like acrylic clear ones some are from the dollar store and some are from amazon so whatever is linkable i will have down in the description bar for you guys and this i actually had in my old vanity system in the alex drawers so i just went ahead and used the same ones that i had in different configurations of course i have downsized a lot of my makeup and all of that and now i feel like i have the perfect amount that fits great inside of here So as you can see from my vanity area, I'm just basically compartmentalizing different areas on what I use to keep all like items together. So I have blushes, bronzers, highlighters, and all of those smaller square compact areas. And then I also place in concealers. I have a high end and then I also have low end for just like kind of daily use like drugstore version. And then of course areas for all of my falsies love those and then mascara brow products any of the other miscellaneous items that i needed in that space Swaying to the hits, boy, loving every disco. Ooh. So you say you're loving 
And then I'm just adding this little caddy here to place my brushes as well as palettes. I'm not sure if I'm going to leave it in this space because for me it looks a little too cluttered. And now on to today's DIY project using my Cricut Joy. I will be showing you guys how I created labels for these beautiful woven baskets that I'm going to have at the top of my closet. So for me, the easier the better. So I love the Cricut Joy Smart Labels. This is not needing any type of mat, but you certainly can if you use just standard vinyl. And what I love about this is I don't even need to have access to my laptop. I was doing this right in my closet and I just did it right from my phone. And as you can see here, I popped up on the screen so you guys can see the step-by-step -step process for you to recreate this as well in your own spaces and organizing your home. It's so simple and easy to use. It tells you exactly when it's time to either insert your blade, insert your writing pen, load your material, anything like that. You will have a guide with you throughout your entire process, making it so simple and easy. So first I'm starting off with a Cricut Joy pen and I'm going to be using the writing as far as swimsuits, labeling my seasonal top, seasonal bottoms, and then when it comes time to cut the actual project, it'll tell me to remove the pen and insert my blade at that point and it'll begin cutting. As you can see there, it tells you exactly what the next step is going to be. You'll complete it and simply hit go and it will begin cutting your project out. It creates really simple little sticker labels. So this is great when you don't want to have to use transfer tape and you need something that's just going to be quick and easy. So this is what it looks like and now I'm going to be using these little clip bags so it can go right on top of my bins. Depending on the type of bin that you have, you can do different sizing and such. I also, because I'm not exactly sure how I'm going to be organizing the top of this closet yet I went ahead and placed it on the little temporary papers this is a quick little hack for you guys instead of placing it directly on the actual bins go ahead and place it on a little paper and then insert that paper into your actual clip holder this way you can change it out anytime your organization needs may vary I was so impressed and so happy how easy yet beautiful all of these came out. It placed them right into the actual bins and you guys can see how easy it is to read and how quick it was now making my life a lot easier. So I don't have to pull down each individual bin to see what's inside. Now I'm going to go ahead and fill them up to organize now that all the labels are completed and placed on each of my bin baskets and I can begin having an organized clean closet. As you can see, all of the items are placed within each of the baskets, and just as I complete each one, I was kind of just placing them right above on the top space of the closet. This allows you to have additional storage without losing the room because the IKEA packs do have different sizing, so depending on the height of your ceilings, you'll have a variety of things. Some go all the way up to the ceiling, but for me, the size proportions did not allow me to go larger, so I stuck with something shorter, and I think it turned out perfect. And now on that side, 
smaller corner type of shelving. I wanted to have organization items that I utilize quick and easily. So this is another great Amazon find because I can store my hair clips, my scrunchies, as well as my headbands. How many times do you guys lose your headbands? This works out great because I can just kind of grab for it. And when I'm done for the day, I just place it right back. I do have a couple of more headbands currently lost in the pile of my bedroom while we're doing this whole organizing. So once I find those, I will be adding those to this whole system here. And then for the draws, I had this pull out one that I wanted for jewelry, things that I access kind of pretty frequently. So I have that little organizer that I place in there to have all of those items. And then for more like my Ana Luisa higher quality jewelry pieces, I have this jewelry organizer, which actually is felted in the inside. So it prevents it from any like scratching or damage. And it does have a lid also. So dust doesn't tend to get on those things that I don't wear as frequently. And then I'm going to be organizing some of the other areas with my hair products, such as curling wands, irons, and then finally, organizing all of my nail polish. Then for the top shelving, I'm not exactly sure if I'm going to be leaving it this way, but for now I just put like a pile of hats as well as pocketbooks that I don't necessarily use constantly. We all know with a 14 month old, I'm using the diaper bag most frequently, which is my never full. So that works out great. All of my extra ones kind of just can stay on the shelving for now. And then now it is time to fill up and put all of my clothes back into the closet, which felt amazing to clear out my bedroom. So we're going to head start off that longer system I left with no shelving, just one rod. So it can be for dresses, cardigans. And then on this other portion, the top, I'm going to start with long sleeves and short sleeves. And then for the bottom shelf, I decided to do tank tops and then all of my lounge sets. I love them. They're easy access. So keeping them all in one place will make it really easy when I need to reach and grab for things. And then here, I was just trying to be a little bit extra and kind of color code, keep everything with like items. <laughs> but for me, most important, I think if you do long sleeves, short sleeves, tank tops, it'll be make it easier when organizing. Of course, little Capri, she had to test out the closet. <laughs> she loves playing in here now. She goes in there, walks around, opens up the drawers, which isn't that great. And then I'm organizing my hats. You guys, this was another Amazon find that has been a lifesaver. For all of your hats, baseball caps, if you find a hard time finding them, you add this little organizer. I have one in Mike's closet too, and it's been a game changer. And then I was so excited after I organized those areas. Mike came home that night and he was able to install all of the hardware this I found really affordable on Amazon and I'll have it linked below they also have different colors and sizes depending on what you're going to be using it for so he's placing that on the um, vanity area as well as the corner shelving area And the last item that I actually had to add for the vanity was, of course, a mirror so I can get ready. I had a tough time, honestly, narrowing down. First, I wanted something lighted. Then I wanted something a little more classic, maybe rattan. But finally, I purchased this one recently. I did a curbside pickup. Total lifesaver. They loaded it right into my car. And I absolutely love it. It matches with my actual anthropology mirror in the 
um, bedroom, but this is an anthropology, you guys. It is under $80 and it is so beautiful. I think it looks really pretty in here. And then that little rattan stool, I feel like added with the wood dowel detail for all of the clothing, the pops of gold. I really love how everything turned out. I'll share with you guys the full after now, as well as taking you in each of the draws so you can see how I organized everything. I hope you enjoyed watching. Be sure to give it a big thumbs up if you did. Definitely consider hitting that subscribe button so you don't miss out on my future home cleaning and organizing videos and I will talk to you in my next one. Bye!